mind is if Mitch Hedberg was still alive, uh, he could do an entire set. I met a trans girl the other day, and she told me her pronouns. And I said, dang, mine are still amateurs. They have yet to get endorsement deals from Nike and Wheaties. But I understand why their pronouns went pro. Because in my experience, trans women need the money because they have spent it all on Bionicles. But we became friends and joined a flag football team of which she had an unfair advantage because she was really good at tucking away the ball. I was hanging out with my trans friend the other day and she mentioned that she had a dead name. And I said, I am sorry for your loss. I have never had a name die, but I have had several that my parents sent to a farm upstate where it would have plenty of room to run around with the other names. Then we went to a bar and I ordered us tequila shots, straight no chaser. And she said, what a coincidence. Straight no chaser is exactly my taste in men. I recently made a friend who is non-binary. So out of respect, I do not mention ones or zeros near them. We started hanging out more and I found that they had the greatest style of all time. They either dress like a librarian from a small prairie town or like they are on their way to a luau. People often ask me what my non-binary friend was born as. A baby. We're not so different after all. The other day, my non-binary friend introduced me to their boyfriend and said he was a trans mask. For some reason, he did not like it when I touched his face and said, wow, it is so lifelike. To try and repair our relationship, I told him that I liked his beard. And he said, thanks, I grew it myself. I really hope I stay on his good side because I fear he might be involved with organized crime because his partner said he always keeps a strap nearby and he knows how to use it. I was hanging out with my lesbian friend the other day and she was telling me about a date she went on. I asked how it went. She said it was only okay, but they're moving in together Thursday and the U-Haul is already rented. They invited me to a housewarming party with their LGBTQ plus friends. It was like I was in the middle of a horny algebra problem. I must have done the math really well because people kept asking me if I was an ace. I was not sure if I was underdressed or overdressed for the occasion because everyone either looked like they were on the way to the gym, a Hawaiian vacation, or were an extra in what we do in the shadows.